So with the due date only a week away, um, we've had a good sort out in the house and we've rearranged it. We think we've got everything pretty much ready. So this morning, uh, Saturday morning, we're going to have a bit of a, a dry run to the birthing centre. Make sure all the systems are in place and ready to go. Um, so yeah, we'll just show you what we've got, um, how we've set up the house. Um, and then hopefully by practicing this it won't be a mad panic when it actually happens but I suppose to be fair it could happen at any moment so it might not actually be a practice event it might turn into the real thing but um, this is the bedroom so we've now got the Moses basket set up on this little rocker thingy this is quite good and obviously close to the to the bed so handy for feeding in the night um, yeah so we made a little bit more space by moving the chest of drawers we had in that corner downstairs hey Lucas so we had a little bit of a rearrange of the old living room with Hannah doing some internet browsing no doubt on the computers we've got our to-do list for all the um, baby stuff so fortunately there's a lot of green on there which means it's done but still some reds which still to be actioned so that's on um, a shared Google Doc so that we can obviously share it between ourselves and we can both be on there editing it at the same time which is rather handy and we've got um, a bag packing list on here so that as we put them in the bag we can tick them off so we know they're done. So you can see, all green, which means the bags are packed. Just give you a quick tour of what else we've got. So we've got the buggy all cleaned, set up. We've had a bit of practice at folding it up and putting it back down and all the rest of it. Oh Lucas, do you have to do that in the middle of the kitchen floor? And in the kitchen there's not a lot. We've got this Tommy Tippy steriliser which was given to us, which is quite cool. We've not actually used it yet, but it's all cleaned and ready to go. Um, we've got on the fridge, there's some instructions on feeding the cat. So if we're away, yeah, that's you. If we're away for um, uh, more than a day, um, we can give our friends a call to feed Lucas. That's all the instructions for that. Uh, the rest of the stuff, Ooh, in the bathroom we've got a bath that was given to us again. We've done quite well actually with freebies because the buggy was a freebie as well from Hannah's boss. Um, we've got some more stuff up on the, basically every bit of storage we've got is being used now. We're at maximum capacity. Um, there's Hannah's bouncy ball for sitting on so that she can basically sort of lean forward. Um, to try and encourage the baby to be back to front, I think, is the idea. Um, a little rocker thing, that was a gift, so that's quite cool. Um, we've actually got some batteries in that now. Uh, so, that does have a gentle rock to it, which is rather funky. And that goes all the way up to that position, which is quite quick. A little baby. So I don't suppose those batteries will last very long. Um, so these are the storage units that we had upstairs, the two end ones, and then the, the one in the middle, the odd one out, um, slightly different colour, is the new one we bought a few weeks ago, just to increase our storage capacity. And so yeah, these these are full of baby stuff. So we've got wipes cotton bud, cotton wool, um, don't even know what that is, yeah so all these are rammed with stuff, clothes, um, what have we got in here, got a Tommy Tippy um, grooming set which was a gift from Hannah's mum which is rather nice, temperature thingy for the bath, um, nappies and things like that and then loads and loads of clothes a lot of this stuff has been given to us. We've not actually bought that much stuff. Um, some home knitting been going on by Hannah's um, mum and auntie. Um, so just more clothes, towels, um, 
I think this is just more clothes. Yeah, just loads and loads of clothes. So I think we should be okay for clothes. We've got um, some like body suits and vests for naught to three months, and then we've got some for naught to six months as well, just in case um, it turns out to be a bit of a whopper. Um, and so these are the bags all packed. We've got three bags. This is Hannah's bag, which is absolutely um, bursting at the seams um, with all her stuff in there so she's got a change of clothing towels and um, all the baby clothes are in there um, and she's got like a swimsuit and stuff because she's hoping to use the birthing pool this is my bag um, I've got a checklist on the front of here the things I need to do before we leave the house so that I'm not in a mad panic um, so things like just lock the door um, grab my phone turn off the lights, shut the windows, um, put the food out for Lucas and then things to do um, when we're at the birthing centre and things to do when we get home um, and on the back I've got my little checklist um, of what to do um, when it all starts happening again just because I do tend to panic so um, this is my bag which has just got, I've got a change of clothes in there as well just in case we're there a bit longer um, notebook and pen, because, you know, why not? Um, phone chargers, earphones, my wallet, and this camera, which will be in there, so that we can take photos at the birthing centre, um, presumably after birth, because we don't want anything too detailed. And finally, a third bag, which has got just loads of snacks and drinks and stuff in it. Um, sugar, coffee, sweets, um, apparently these are quite important, Percy pigs, Percy and penny pigs, I suspect we might get through the whole pack quite easily, some Pringles, so that's all that is about, so I think that's pretty much it, uh, we've got some boxes there with toys in and stuff and there's uh, an extra um, travel cot thing in there which would be quite useful a um, couple of baskets for laundry ready to go teddy bear he's ready to go a play mat which was another gift for us which has all been washed and cleaned and everything so that's all ready changing mat bin for nappies um, top and tail wash bowl thingy and a nappy bag I suppose sort of travel bag um, I think that is pretty much everything. So we're going to have a dry run. The Picasso, the, the mighty Citroen Zara is out there ready to go. It's got the child seat fitted. So um, hello. So yeah, we're just going to go through the, the checklist, get the bags in, drive to drive to Chipping Norton which is where the birthing centre is and yeah I suppose just check the timing it should take about 25 minutes um, yeah and just do a dry run really just so we're comfortable with it all and we don't panic on the day or well, I don't panic on the day which is more likely to be the case mm -hmm.